Rebel Against Defeat, Chase Excellence, Masculinity, and of course, Men First. We all know the statistics right now. 63% of all young men between the ages of 18 and 30 are single, if not virgins at the same time. That number continues to grow. 33% of women are single between 18 and 30. That should give you a good perspective of where we sit for the young men. The young men also need to understand that a woman in your life not necessarily will bring any sort of positive outcome, maybe in the beginning, but in the end, it's probably going to fail. It's probably going to be difficult. There's a one to 2% chance that it will work. One to 2% of women in my world or in the world, I think are decent, but they're still female. And female nature can strike at any time. The government writes all prenups for men and women, and those prenups favor the women. So if you do decide to get married, remember there's already a written prenup for you. The government wrote it, which is half of your shit, if not more, the house, alimony, and enormous amounts of child support, as well as medical expenses, school expenses, gifts that you're gonna buy for Christmas, birthdays, vacations, it adds up. So be very careful where you make your contract with. Because if you make a contract with the uh, courthouse down the street, that courthouse in the end will own you and your kids and everything you worked for and will favor, in most cases, the woman. Now, some of those laws are changing in some states. Utah now is a default 50-50, uh, unless there's adequate reasons that one or the other parent should have more custody, but that is a improvement. So no longer are women trying to use 80 to 90% custody for their kids, it's now defaulted. And we're seeing that in different areas. I think Florida is, is like that as well, cutting out lifetime alimony. Um, and so it is, there is an improvement, but the only improvement that I will tell you is to not ever get involved in a contract in marriage. I would not even get in a civil contract with your girl in a cohabitation environment, nor would I have a child or recommend having children at this stage. Uh, it just doesn't benefit you in the long run. It's not pessimism, it's reality. So remember that boys, take care. Chase excellence, masculinity, and of course, men first.